Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, markets are um, mixed this morning. Beans uh, unchanged, or maybe dollar, uh, maybe down about a penny. Meal continues to gain on oil. Corn's unchanged, while Chicago and KC wheat are up uh, fraction. Yesterday, uh, the wheat markets made 17-month uh, lows in the Chicago, 13-month lows in Kansas City. Uh, lower Russian prices continues to weigh on the market. It's a little early to trade weather, uh, but we are uh, looking at some dry conditions in the Southern Plains uh, in Canada and uh, expecting lower production in Australia in 2023. Still no word on the export corridor and whether it's going to be extended and the Eastern Ukraine war continues to intensify. Uh, the um, soybean market, I think, uh, again, yesterday, there was some talk that the Argentina soybean crop could drop below 30 million metric tons. That would mean they would try probably max out on the imports of 8 million tons to try to get a crush that uh, is uh, equal to their product demand. So far, uh, we haven't seen any uh, sh demand shift from Argentina on the meal side uh, to the U.S., uh, Dalian futures, soybean, soybean meal, palm oil, soybean all lower as uh, the January and February uh, soybean import numbers to China was a record 16 million metric tons. Uh, in the corn, I think the market is uh, concerned on the one su side of not enough demand um, with the exports running 39% uh, behind a year ago, uh, even though there were some corn announced to Japan and unknown yesterday, and Japan continues to be an active buyer of uh, U.S. corn. D down in South America, the uh, Argentina crop probably down close to 40 million metric tons. Some people are at 39. USDA is at 47. Um, and I, I kind of doubt that uh, USDA will drop uh, the corn and bean numbers tomorrow in their report as much as the private estimates are concerned. Um, also in the wheat, we saw the Kansas crop ratings drop uh, for winter wheat. Um, Oklahoma went up while Texas was unchanged. So again, we're seeing a lot of moisture in the Delta and the Southeast, uh, rains in the Eastern Midwest, snows in the Northern Plains, but still dry uh, down in the Southern Plains. Um, so I think that uh, the main thing that the markets are doing right now, beans between $15 and $15.50, just trying to find value based on the lower Argentina crop versus concern of lower China imports. Uh, the corn market in a very tight range um, and trying to figure out if uh, these inverses will collapse because of a bigger U.S. 2023 crop or if they will continue to remain strong with the tight old crop situation here in the U.S. And then the wheat market is near uh, some pretty important lows. And uh, we think that uh, if there's some kind of um, weather problem, uh, we could see a little bit of weather premium added to the wheat market.